Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today I am going to start working on one of my least favorite jobs. No, I'm not doing more sanding, it is wiring. So to add to the pain of the job I have to do today by uh, reinstating this wiring is the fact that I wasn't the one that took it out. I didn't pull this car apart, so I have no idea where all these things go. I've never pulled a Z apart before, so um, thankfully these old cars are relatively simple on the wiring stakes. If you came to a new car with no markings and stuff, I'd be completely lost. But there's still a fair bit of mess to sort through here, and... Um, I'm just going to guess my way along and see what happens. Start sort of seeing where things lay and hopefully uh, I can sort of half work out where things are supposed to go. Yes, I am going to reuse the old wiring. I'm just going to test uh, test it and if there are things that don't work, then I'll deal with it then. Um, uh, laying in one of the new universal wiring looms uh, is not actually as easy as it uh, as it first appears sometimes it's actually easier to use the original stuff that goes in the original spot particularly since i'm using the original engine or something close to that uh so um, all right let's get into it All right, I've gone in and I've laid this uh, rat's nest back in roughly where everything went. Um, I have no idea what any of it does. I'm sort of uh, trying to work it out, trying to follow where some of these uh, cables would have gone just by the lengths of them to try and work out what went where, what does what. Um, so now it's uh, time to go and do a bit of research, look up some wiring diagrams. So I've just gone and done a bit of research and I've managed to find this fantastic wiring diagram that somebody at some stage has remade uh, from the originals, putting all the right colours and stuff in. The only issue is, is that this is a left-hand drive wiring diagram and my car is a right-hand drive car. Hopefully uh, there aren't a lot of differences. I believe the, uh, the main uh, engine bay wiring harness still runs down the right-hand side of the engine bay. Um, it's just that obviously my battery is on the left hand side where uh which is which is the uh, the main difference i don't think there'll be too many differences so i'm just going to go through now and uh double check everything and uh, see if these colors match up with the sort of things i've got in the engine bay but uh, this gives me a much better idea of the layout of what's there and what things might actually be for what Alright, I am uh, much happier with uh, what's going on here now. After using that wiring diagram, it was quite handy. I've now gone through and laid everything out where it's supposed to be. It's still a bit of a mess, but uh, I will probably end up going through and tidying it all up later. Once I get the engine in the car, I can pretty it up. But um, for now, it's, uh, it's sort of roughly where it needs to go and I can connect up what I need to and tidy things up. Yeah, when it comes time to that. Now the engine bay is squared away, it's time to start tackling this uh, mess of wires in the interior here uh, and connecting it back up. Uh, I assume most of this stuff goes forward and uh, connects up down in here, so I'll work out what I connect here and uh, keep going. Okay, that wiring has gone together much quicker and easier than I was expecting it to, which is uh, fantastic because I've been dreading it. Um, how well it works is something to yet to be determined. I can sort that out later. I'm not gonna get super caught up with that side of things. Uh, but now what I've gotta do is, um, the next thing for the engine bay is to fit the, uh, the brake booster. 
Um, I went down to Super Cheap yesterday and ordered myself uh, new brake mask cylinders, new clutch mask cylinders, slave cylinders, all the bits and pieces I need to, um, to, to freshen this system up. Um, but I'm gonna keep using the, uh, the same booster. It actually looks like it's in, you know, even the rubber bush, boot and everything on the back here, all looks like it's in good condition. Um, this just needs a, uh, a bit of a, a scrub back and a, uh, and a, bit, of a, a bit of a paint to make it look nice. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go through things like the, uh, the, the, head, the back of the headlight buckets and um, yeah, as I said, these uh, little smugglers botch, box hatch things um, will all get um, a nice coat of paint to uh, tidy them up. So let's get into that. I grabbed out, okay, so when I got this car, I got a couple of dashes from Zach um, for parts to, to put in this car. And I was getting ready to uh, bolt this in because uh, this dash is pretty much complete, ready to go. Everything's bolted in underneath. And then I realized that this dash is not the same as this dash. This is obviously the early 240Z dash, which is what this car is. This is a later 260Z dash. You can see this center section, this one's sort of square, this one tapers up. Um, the issue is, is that this dash is in really good condition. It's uh, uh, with a bit of a clean up, it should be able to just go straight in the car, a lot less mess, a lot less fuss, and it's ready to go. This dash, um, somebody sanded it, it's, it's, it's pretty rough and, uh, and nasty, and it's gonna need covering or something. And also, at this stage, I don't have the glove box or the, um, this uh, center bit of the dash. I'm missing some bits and pieces. This did have gauges that came with it. Uh, some of you may be able to tell me why. These are in, um, th these are orange, whereas uh, the center gauges, uh, the center bits are a white letters. Um, this is also, um, the speedo is in miles per hour, which 1971 is sort of in the cusp of when Australia was changing over from uh, miles to kilometers. So it quite possibly came out with miles an hour and uh, the later 260Zs came out with kilometers an hour. Either way, I should be able to swap the uh, kilometer per hour speedo over into here and the, uh, the white taco and stuff. But uh, is there some significance to the orange? I don't know, let me know. Um, so yeah, so now I have the dilemma of do I do the, the simpler thing of bolting in the working good dash and um, even though it's not 240, it's 260, it's almost the same, there's very little difference. Um, or is that sacrilege and I really need to uh, hunt this down? Thinking, remembering this car is not original anyway, so uh, it's not original engine, everything else is not original. So I'm tempted to throw this in, but let me know what you, know, what you think. Um, all right, well, as I cannot uh, continue forward with the, the dash at this stage, I'm sort of at a standstill. I think it's time we should move back into the booth. We've got some more painting to do. Yay! Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I am taking the Resto Mod slash Lazy Way out and uh, I'm gonna be painting all of the chrome bits on the car, which includes all the door handles. That means the, uh, these uh, window frame surrounds, um, and even going towards these tail lights. So these are, these are the strips that go over the center of um, the tail lights. Now I know you can get replacement uh, tail lights new. These actually don't look that faded and actually aren't in too bad a condition. I'm going to at least attempt to fix them by uh, cleaning them up and I'm gonna re-clear coat them and see if it uh, freshens them up again. If it doesn't, then I'll just get new ones. Um, but if I can save the $600 on new ones or whatever, then I will. Um, but uh, yeah, so the, now it's time to dismantle these windows um, and uh, get everything ready so I can at least put a coat of primer on it today. So then maybe, um, maybe later in the week I might be able to put some color on them.
Okay, I'm all set up here, cleaned up, ready to go. I just need to mix up some primer and get some primer on these bits. Okay, and all of the window frames, door handles and window winders and stuff have all got a nice coat of uh, primer on it. So they will be ready to give a quick sand next week and put some nice color. Most of these bits are gonna be going gunmetal gray. Well, for a change, I'm really happy with the progress I've got done today. I think uh, things have moved forward quite well. I've uh, sorted out, uh, at least I've got an idea about the wiring, what's going on there. Um, you guys need to let me know about those that dash. I'm seriously swaying towards just using the 260s at dash. Um, all right, well, that's definitely all I've got time for today, so that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, 1989 was the 30th running of the Bathurst 1000. It saw Peter Brock take his sixth pole position, this time driving a Ford Sierra, and his first in anything other than a Holden. Brock used an interesting tactic of setting off his engine bay's Halon fire extinguisher, which was angled across his intercooler. This gave him a substantial boost of power up Mountain Straight, and although it wasn't technically against the rules, he still received a $5,000 fine for a moral infringement. Dick Johnson took the win after leading most of the race, with Sierra RS 500s taking the top two spots. This year finally saw Nissan hit the podium, with R31 GTSRs taking up third and fourth. Today went really well. I was uh, quite happy with the progress I made. Um, as I said, I, uh, I've ordered a bunch of stuff from Super Cheap, so I'm just waiting for that to come in. So the brake mask cylinders, uh, clutch, uh, a bunch of bits and pieces, um, are still, uh, I'm still just uh, waiting to come in. So we are really going to be moving forward quickly on this car. Um, it's exciting. It's in, very exciting. In case, um, anyway, I hope you're enjoying it. the videos, and please like and subscribe if you are. And we'll see you next time. There you go. It's, you've got amoral. Yeah. Oh, not for amoral, but yeah. amoral. It's not amoral, but I think amoral is still, kind of works. Amoral versus amoral infringement. Don't be amoral or you'll get amoral infringement. Sorry, I'm just gonna, anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.